One of Warren Buffett's most iconic quotes is that if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. And if there is any year that makes his words true, it has to be 2024. Inflation is high, and as things stand, not even the best economists can predict what happens next. So, if things take a turn for the worst, it'll be hard to imagine that the $60,000 salary of the average American will be able to sustain him. However, there is a silver lining. Making at least $100,000 before the end of the year is 99% possible even if you're starting from $100, but there is a catch. It requires a system broken down into six parts, starting from introspection down to beating the ultimate fear, and today, we're going to be talking about all of them. But hold on for a second, because there's more. Apart from the six steps to grow your money this year, we're also going to be talking about five of the most lucrative business ideas that you can try today. Amazing life lessons, wisdom nuggets straight from the Oracle of Omaha, and of course, the one thing that could jeopardize your finances that you need to overcome. So with all that out of the way, the first step that you need to take this year is to check out the current path you need to take. And to achieve this, all you need to do is sit with us for a second. If you were to make a minimum of $100,000 over the next 12 months, how much would you need every week to achieve this? By breaking down the year into 52 weeks, you'll need an excess of $1,923 each week. But don't fret because it's much more doable than you think. That said, in case you're wondering how you can generate a sum on a consistent weekly basis, you might want to grab a pen and paper because step two is all about how you can upgrade your weekly earnings to the max. And here's the disclaimer, it's going to take its sweet time, especially at the beginning. Because while money from dubious means comes quick, legitimate Benjamins always require effort and consistency. So with that in mind, here are five amazing tips that you can use to defeat today's economy and place yourself on a $1,923 weekly payroll and beyond. Number 1. Become an Expert Advertising Manager Make no mistake guys, there are so many things to take home from being an advertiser. And no, we don't mean the traditional advertising methods. The landscape is changing, and digital methods aren't just taking stage, but are also producing the most money. And the best part is that it's going to be this way until the next decade. But here's how you can make a lot of money in this area. How familiar are you with medium-sized businesses, earning somewhere between $500,000 and let's say $4 million a year? Most of them are not exactly financially buoyant enough to go all out and hire full-time advertisers. Rather, they pay people or agencies to manage their ads for them. So if you want to break into this field, consider learning platforms like Facebook or YouTube advertising and gain expertise through videos and courses. By offering these services at a lower cost than hiring an employee, you can build a portfolio of clients. But it's important for you to show genuine care for the business you assist. Success comes from actively driving results and profits, as a lack of commitment won't attract or retain clients. So put in the effort, prioritize a positive return on ad spend, and watch your business grow as more clients seek your expertise. Number 2. Detailing Luxury Cars As surprising as it may seem, this is a lucrative field. By launching a mobile detailing service tailored for busy professionals like doctors and lawyers who don't have the time to wash up their luxury cars, you can make amazing money every week. You see, given how this demographic values both their time and their high-end vehicles, targeting them ensures a clientele with the financial means to pay for detailing services and a limited time frame for traditional car wash visits. Once you've done that, offer a leisure plan providing convenience by going to their homes on weekends when they're mostly available. By saving them time, you're offering a valuable service they are willing to pay for, aligning with their priorities. Number 3. Cleaning Real Estate Another amazing money-making method you can set up this year is creating a business specializing in painting and cleaning rental properties for landlords during turnovers. In today's economy, landlords are seriously struggling to find cost-effective labor for arguably the most basic tasks out there, like cleaning up the property after a tenant moves out. And with turnovers being a common occurrence, landlords are basically facing an uphill battle in finding reliable professionals to handle cleaning and renovations before a new tenant moves in. 
So, by offering essential services such as painting and cleaning, you can cater to landlords who need their property managed. This not only provides them with a more affordable option in comparison to bigger management companies, but also addresses the need for basic property turnover tasks, even in the absence of major repairs. So it's basically a win-win. Additionally, you might want to consider extending your services to include landscaping. In today's competitive rental market, landlords are not only concerned with the interior, but also the exterior appeal of their properties. And many landlords are also struggling to find reliable and affordable landscapers to maintain the curb appeal of their rental units. By incorporating landscaping services into your business, you can offer a comprehensive solution for property turnovers, ensuring both the inside and outside of the property are in top-notch condition for new tenants. This expansion not only provides convenience for landlords, but also positions your business as a one-stop shop for all their property turnover needs. Number 4. Learn SEO Never heard of this before? Well, you're missing out on a gold mine. Just like digital advertising, search engine optimization, also called SEO, remains a key aspect of online visibility, as it assists e-commerce brands in securing prime positions on Google's first page. However, given the fact that the dynamic nature of SEO requires a dedicated understanding of how Google ranks content, you are going to have to fully immerse yourself in SEO practices and stay updated on evolving algorithms to acquire the expertise needed to propel businesses selling products online to the forefront of search results. That said, while the learning process may take some time, there are so many free resources on platforms like YouTube that can kickstart your journey into SEO. Supplement this with courses and possibly coaching, and you can offer your acquired SEO skills as a valuable service to businesses aiming to enhance their online product visibility. But don't worry, because all of your efforts will eventually be worth it. Think about it this way. Have you ever found yourself clicking through to the second page of a Google search? Chances are, like most people, you rarely venture beyond the first page. And that's why companies are willing to pay SEO writers well to ensure their content ranks on the first page. Prime real estate increases visibility, draws in organic traffic, and ultimately drives sales, which is music to the ears of any smart firm. Number 5. Social Media This may sound a bit cliché, but social media is yet another money-producing market that you need to consider seriously. Guys, creating a podcast, a YouTube channel, or other forms of social brands centered around your passion and things you enjoy might just be all you need to make $1,923 weekly. But it is crucial to recognize that success in these ventures demands extra effort, especially in the initial stages. Even the likes of Mr. Beast, who earns hundreds of millions of dollars every year on YouTube, built their successful channels through unwavering dedication and consistency. So don't expect immediate magic, even though it is possible. Now, in case you're wondering why these media platforms like YouTube pay so well, it's worth adding that the substantial payments to creators are not just acts of generosity, but rather strategic investments. These platforms understand that the heartbeat of their success lies in user engagement. So by compensating creators generously, they encourage a continuous flow of captivating content ensuring users stay hooked on their platforms. Think about that for a moment. The more engaging and diverse the content is, the longer users stay on the platform. This prolonged user interaction translates into increased ad revenue, premium subscriptions, and overall growth for the company. And in return, the creators are handsomely rewarded, so they stay motivated to produce high-quality content creating a mutually beneficial cycle where both the platform and its creators thrive. That being said, this brings us to the next step, which is constantly being on the lookout for new opportunities. The biggest mistakes we've made by far, I've made, not we've made, biggest mistakes I've made by far, I mean, it's the things I knew enough to do, they were within my circle of competence, and I was sucking my thumb. Make no mistake, this is just as important as generating massive weekly incomes. Why? Because the ever-changing economy undergoes shifts. Acquiring new skills and staying abreast of industry trends will be crucial to staying ahead of the curve. Plus, your ability to adapt and learn ensures that you're not just surviving, but thriving in changing economic climates. For example, 
Do you remember when we mentioned that digital advertising has now overshadowed traditional methods? As industries transform, new technologies emerge and consumer preferences evolve. By consistently investing in learning, you position yourself to anticipate these changes and capitalize on emerging opportunities. Those who took the proactive strategy to remain one step ahead by updating their advertising methods have now effectively beaten the curve rather than playing catch up. And that's what you need to do on your journey. However, the key here is to stay vigilant and seek new exciting opportunities to boost your earnings as you progress. You can either learn by yourself or gain insights by investing in the knowledge of others who have succeeded in your desired field. But in any case, never feel shy about starting with free resources like YouTube videos, podcasts, and blogs, because they're a really great foundation. However, as you evolve, you might want to take things up a notch or two. Engage in more structured learning, whether through books or courses. Investing in comprehensive guidance, especially in the early stages, can be immensely beneficial. So always be on the lookout for opportunities to expand your knowledge and income generating capabilities. However, here's a piece of advice that you absolutely need to note. Well, make some mistake they make is listening to a lot of other people. Just like Warren Buffett warns against following the crowd, one mistake that you should never make when learning is blindly copying the methods of others. Given that your tutor or model will never be an exact replica of you and your experiences, why do you think his methods will have the same effect on you? Instead of being mindless, soak in the knowledge from your class and apply the information you learn to your business only according to your own needs. With that in mind, this brings us to the next step, which is keeping your earned cash close. One of the most famous personal finance quotes of all time by Warren Buffett is, if you buy things you don't need, you will soon sell things you need. And we couldn't agree more. One common pitfall that many people fall into is solely working to earn money without a broader strategy for growth. Let's say you put all of the things we've talked about so far into practice and were able to create a thriving SEO writing career that hit the goal of creating $100,000 annually. Would you agree that your temptations and cravings will multiply astronomically? With an income stream that's far above what the average American makes, you'll be tempted to splurge on a great home, a high-end car, the latest gadgets, and extravagant vacations. However, this instant gratification approach often leads to a precarious financial situation. Instead of building lasting wealth, your income is directed toward maintaining a facade of affluence. And if you succumb to your urges, it may be game over. You see, successful wealth building entails a strategic approach, and that's why Warren Buffett still lives frugally despite being one of the wealthiest men on the planet. Rather than funneling all earnings into immediate consumption, consider allocating a portion to investments, such as real estate properties or diversified portfolios. This not only safeguards your financial future, but also generates passive income and appreciates assets over time. After all, if something really bad were to happen to your business revenue or the economy, how would you be able to recover? Always have a system where you know how much money you're going to spend, invest, and save from your earnings. Have you ever heard of the 75-15-10 plan? It's a rule that suggests a structured approach to managing your income. Here, for every dollar you make, allocate 75% for living expenses, invest at least 15%, and save a minimum of 10%. This way, whether you make $10,000 a year, $100,000 a year, or $10 million a year, you're always paying yourself first by investing and saving your money before you go out and blow all of it. Moving on, the next step is staying consistent even as you fail daily, a move that signifies perseverance. While many entrepreneurs stumble over the hurdle of maintaining discipline beyond the initial days, Believe it when we tell you that your financial landscape can transform significantly in the next 12 months with disciplined and consistent efforts. While securing the first few clients can be daunting, each subsequent one becomes progressively easier. The key is putting in the hard work consistently, especially in the initial stages where acquiring that first client may demand time, as success requires dedication to understand what to offer mastering the art of selling, and effectively marketing your efforts. Remember, success comes from consistency, and only those who persevere can reap its rewards.
But on that note, here's the all-important final step. Never be afraid to fail. Despite starting a business at the age of six, Warren Buffett didn't become a millionaire until he hit his 30s. And only God knows how many times he failed or made a bad business move on his journey to success. As a matter of fact, Warren Buffett himself openly admitted that he made a mistake that cost Berkshire Hathaway $5 billion. And guess what? That's just one mistake out of many. I probably cost Berkshire at least $5 billion, for example, by sucking my thumb 20 years ago or close to it. Those are the big, big mistakes. And uh, I've had plenty of them. At, uh... No matter how agonizing it is, failure isn't the end, but a feedback loop for growth. Embracing it is key to learning and evolving. With each setback being a lesson that's guiding you towards success, why should you be afraid of failure? Instead of despairing, see it as a necessary part of the journey, and you'll never be shackled by it again.